friends what's up welcome back my channel the learning destination this is episode number 4 of my ongoing series hasi coop consult basically i am going to cover mainly two sections in this tutorial first is that we will see that how we can register our services inside the consult and secondly we will see that how we can do the health check status of the registered services now if i go in the past in my previous first three episode episode number 1 to 3 basically i have covered three things first the in depth introduction about the consult in episode number 0 to we have seen the high level overview and ar architectural overview of the consult and in my last episode episode number 3 we have practically seen that how we can configure and install the consult data centers and the agent so those who are visiting first time can easily refer my episode number 1 to 3 and get get all these informations about the consult now this is also going to be a practical sessions and this is guys really going to be a very interesting journey so let's start so before i take you to the practical session now let's understand our today's agenda and this is i have divided into the two sections section 1 where we are going to see all the steps inside the service registrations and under the section 2 we are basically see that how we can do the health check status verifications okay so under the sections 1 under the service registrations we are going to see the steps how we can define the services and then there is additional parameter which i have added like how we can start the console server in the script mode uh if you remember that previously i have simply started my uh, hasicop uh, console server in the development mode but here i am adding something new which is called the script mode why it is needed that i will let you know inside the practical once we do the practical then the third third step is how we can do the service registrations and how we can query the services that it is registered with the console services okay so this is something called under the service discovery and uh, those who don't know about what is the service discovery you can easily go in my previous sections watch my previous episodes and you will have complete idea that what is the meaning of the service discovery okay so in in this sections we are going to see that four uh, four to five types of query it means that how we can query to the console server that whether this service is registered or not and we are going to see through the dns record basically and we will also query through the srb record then we will query through the tag and finally we will say that even uh, apart from the dns query how we can call the services and check whether it is registered or not through the api okay then under the section 2 enable health check we are going to see that how we can enter the services into the configuration file so the console server can register this particular services and start monitoring it and finally we will verify the health check status of the services so now guys i am going to take you into the practical session let's enjoy the practical session now so guys now i am going to start the practical sessions and firstly in order to start the console server we need to create some configurations file okay so i am going to create one directory called console.d and d represent the directory it's up to you whatever the name you can give it you can give it here and now i am going to create one json file here that we use as a configurations file for our console server and where i have already written the configuration file parameters that i am going to copy and paste it here so basically i am going to start one of the service name is web and this is the tag which i have given as a rails and it is running on the port number 80 now i am just defining the services inside the configurations file only this service is not going to be start and here i would like to bring your attention here even though the service is started or it is stop it doesn't matter still your console server can register it and as of now you can see that i have already defined the web services on port number 80 right but it is not running as of now but still we can register it inside the console okay but when we do the health check up it it will get failed why because it is not running okay so how we can do the registrations of this service inside the console now let's see that so in order to uh, start console server using this particular configuration file we, uh, we have to run this command console hyphen dev and then we need to uh, sorry so it's console agent 
hyphen dev then we need to enable the script script hyphen check and then we need to give configurations file config hyphen dir and then we are giving the console dot d directory so the configurations file is basically reside inside the console dot d directory okay so let's start it so it is saying that we need to give here dot okay so basically i was at the wrong wrong locations so now you can see that our console server is successfully started and here if you see the logs it is saying that the service is called to wave in sync it means that it the console server is already registered the wave applications the wave services okay so now what i am going to do i am going to just take one duplicate session which i have already taken of this terminal and now i am going to show you the query that uh, how we can use the console dns query to query this particular service and, and can check that whether this service is registered or not. So now let's see. So this is one of the duplicate sessions of the same terminal. And now we are going to take a help of a console DNS service to query the to query that particular services we have registered and now we are going to check that whether it is registered or not. So the we are taking help of the D command and we are going to take the help of this console DNS services one and then it is running on 8600 this console DNS service and then in order to check the services we need to give it wave dot service dot console so this is the wave services which we are running and we are going to check it now so if we run right now you can see that we have queried one and it it has given the answer one so basically it is saying that this services is running on the particular node so since as of now um, it is running on the local host and i haven't yet defined any the particular ip address that's why it is taking the local host in order to let's suppose that your environment is running in particular uh, high level architectures you can define the particular ip address or the host name okay now let's suppose that we want to try we want to check it the srb record so it was only giving the previous query was only giving the a record now if we want to check the service record the srb record right so we can check it also like the same we need to mention only the srb in the same command now we can see that it is giving the so firstly whenever we meet the dns query you can verify uh, in a ways like whether it gives the correct answer or not so the query we have just asked the one query the answer section is also the one so it verifies that our command has successfully executed so this is the wave services okay and now it is the node ip it has given that it is running on this particular node on the port of 80 okay now if you remember in the configurations file i have also given the tag if you don't remember let me show you so you can see that the tag i have given this services the tag i have given the rails right so even though you can check with the tag also so let's suppose that you are giving one of the tag to all your wave services then in such kind of queries by using the tag you can track all your wave services whether it is registered or not with the console okay so you can see like that so now you can again see that there is a query one and there is the answer one it has given and it is giving the same record even though we are uh, querying through the tag name as well okay so, uh, so these are the methods that basically we are go querying through the DNS, but there is another method that we can query and check that whether the service is registered or not. And that matter is called the API. Okay, so in order to uh, query through the API, we need to mention curl HTTP, and then we need to give the local host IP address, and then we call 8500, then we call V1 catalog service and the service name way so now you can see that even though we are querying through the api it also gives the result that this are the wave services is running the id is wave service name is wave it is running on the port number 80 okay so 
yeah so this is this is all about under the service registrations or we can call as a service discovery inside the particular console okay so that's now in the previous couple of minutes we have seen that how we can register the services under the service console which is also called service discovery inside the console and we have seen that how we can uh, verify it through different different queries whether the query is made through the dns or it is made through the api calls okay so now in the next part we are going to see that how we can register these services how we can do the health check of these services inside the console and what are the configurations needed in order to verify the health check status i'm going to enable the health check status of the web services called web and for that we need to edit the configurations file and we need to mention some additional line so i'm just going to delete everything and let me explain you these are the same things that the service name i'm defining here the wave and the tag is rails the service is running on the port number 80 and this is running on the so basically now this check whenever we mention the check inside the configurations file that uh, denoted we can see that that highlights that now this wave service is coming under the health check and whenever we are putting or we can say like that whenever we are putting inside the configuration file the term called check it comes under the health check status that means whenever we are mentioning the check it enables the health check status okay so since we have made changes in that the configurations file now we need to uh, reload our hashicorp server which is running here right so this is kind of script we defined inside the wave.json file and that is the reason that if you remember previously we have started console server using the hyphen enabled script check it means that we have enabled the script changes because we are just right now entering some values changing inside the configurations file and this is the reason that in the previously as i mentioned that right now i am enabling the enable script check and later i will explain you so this is one of the reason that previously i had enabled script check okay so now in order to reload in order to reload the hashicorp we just simply need to run the command console reload okay so it can take the effect the recently the changes we have made inside the configurations file right so now you can see that it is getting reload and now it's saying that check is now critical so it is by default saying as of now the conditions of wave services is critical and if i if i just now if i query the dns query and if i right now check the status of the particular services which we registered called wave it will be failed why it is failed because we have just simply the register but this service is not yet started and that is the reason that now i am going to run the command and it will show the answer sections zero because this particular service is not running and in such a way we can uh, verify the health check of the service which we registered inside the console services okay so now let's run this command again we are taking help of console dns service It is 600 and we have called base service dot and console. So now you can see that the answer section is zero and there is no particular answer sections because this wave service is not yet running. It is just simply we configure uh, inside the configuration file. That's all. But it is not running and that's why the health check status is failed. And even though as of now, if we try the SRV record also, we'll have the same result. So you can see that the answer is zero. We query to one to DNS server, but it is reverting as an answer zero because we have enabled the health check status. Enabled, we have enabled the health check status, and now health check is finding that this service is not running. So how we can respond it? It is not running. It is a stop. That's why the answer section is zero. So that's all for this lecture, guys. This is all about we have just now explained about how we can register the service inside the console and secondly how we can enable the health check status for the register services and in such a way you can verify your services registrations as well as the health check status
for this lecture guys i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions just write me in the comment sections and i will answer it there you can also write your feedback that how was by this tutorial and i will see you in my next episode stay tuned with the learning destinations and don't forget to watch the in upcoming episode number 05 where i am going to cover how we can secure service communication with the service mesh and envoy and also guys i would like to request you please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and the colleagues i will see you next week till the time stay tuned with the learning destinations enhance your devops skill with the learning destinations bye bye take care